Well, good morning. Today's going to be an interesting topic. I was sitting here getting ready to do a presentation and my mind just went blank. And I'm, so I said a quick little prayer and said, okay, what is it that I should be talking about right now? And the topic was surprising me <laughs> because you would think, what does a guy know about this? Pregnancy. Now, I'm not talking about the actual, you know, pregnancy itself, but what I want to talk about are the emotions that are generated due to pregnancy. And these emotions also carry into other, other realms. Like, it's not just pregnancy that creates some of these emotions. And some of the emotions that you may have heard is PTSD and... You, you get emotions like anxiety. You get emotions, you get depressed. And I know that these are real emotions, that there's no faking it. It's not like you want to be in one of these emotions. And there's many other emotions that come from it, the postpartum depression and all that. Well, I want to talk about those today. I've talked a lot about our emotions lately with, you know, how they travel throughout your body. And I recently read a book that was talking about the emotions that come from pregnancy. And what happens is we're, we're kind of, th this is what, what we're like, is here we are, we're walking along this path and you're, you're excited about being pregnant, even though you may have been sick here and you coming up here and you just start to get over your sickness, but then you start to get to this point and you're ready for the child to be delivered, but you're also hesitant, especially if this is your first child, you're hesitant. It's like, I don't know, like right now it's easy to care for them. It's, you know, he or she is in there just right here. But you're, you're lacking sleep. You lack, you know, function. You know, like you really want to. There's a lot of things that you realize that you're actually missing because you're pregnant. Well... Then the time comes to delivery. Woohoo! Yay! We're all excited. You're excited that the delivery's here. You've held that precious baby. And you're like, wow, this is amazing. I can't believe that I've been so blessed to be able to have the gift of being able to bring a child into this world. With this elation, now because we've kind of come through this scoop of emotion, because it really, it kind of does this too. I mean, we have these little dips and valleys throughout life, but this is like a highlight, this is huge. Well, our body, your, your body, not my body, never experienced this, but I've seen it with my wife, is just so excited. But then what happens is that chemical rush that you have here just falls down. And it's not because you don't love your child. It's not because you don't love life. It's not because of any of that. It's because your body just had all of these chemicals just flood through you, and now they're releasing. And they're releasing in a way that is much more rapid than you're used to. And so these chemicals just drop. Well, a lot of times you can drop with them. And as you drop into this valley here, this is kind of like your despair. This is when you question, you start questioning everything, question why did I become a, a mother? Why did I choose to have children? Why did, I mean, all of these questions can come into play. You would then question, am I a good mother? Am I, you know, you want to be the best. And so you start seeking all kinds of advice everywhere. And then you realize soon 
that you don't want any more advice because everybody's advice is just all over the place. You have some who say do this, some say no, don't do that. And you, and you realize that you really are kind of on your own with your husband in raising this child. And that even though you get all this advice, you guys are different and your child is different. Well, now you even feel a little bit more despair and you really feel kind of like you've fallen down and there's just no, no hope because you think I am alone. And then your husband's going back to work or you're going back to work and all this. And instead of coming back up, we fall even further. And this is real. This is really real. And it's like, how am I going to get out of that? This depression, this anxiety, the, the, you know, this what just happened, this elation was also very traumatic. Especially if you've had c-sections or you had a long delivery you know hard uh hard labor i mean it's it can be a traumatic experience and we're get down to this pit and we're like i remember what it was like to be up here on this hill i want to get back up there but now it seems like for almost impossible climb because look at the, look at how far of a shift we've gone we've gone all the way from here all the way down here and we just think i just want to get back up here i just want to even be halfway in and it just looks like it's impossible but it's not the point of this and this is for in life no matter what, not just pregnancy, but for whatever reason, this morning I felt like we were supposed to talk about pregnancy. But we go through these emotions and we get down into this pit. And to get out of this pit, it just looks impossible. But one of the reasons is it looks so impossible is we think we have to jump all the way up there. Well, that's a huge jump. What we have to do is just create some stairs just little nicks all the way up and we just keep climbing all the way up and as we create those stairs and this is just simple process simple daily things you just tell yourself right now you know what i'm just going to start out small and i'm gonna get up out of bed and i'm gonna look in the mirror and say i did it I got, I got up out of bed. I did it. Boom. We just made a stair. Then we just, every day, we just, that's what our focus is. Then maybe after a week, you add the next step. And that next step could be that you get out of bed and you get dressed. There we go. We're slowly making this climb. And it's just baby steps. We don't need to do this in one big leap. It's just step after step after step. Well, once we get to about this midpoint, that's when you'll feel like you have more energy and you can start maybe skipping steps. You know, you didn't need to do this step and this step because you're now starting to feel better. Maybe right here you start to do a little bit more exercise and you start to engage your brain. Maybe right here you, you start reading again. You, you start implementing things that make you feel better. You're reading your poster on a regular basis, telling yourself how amazing, fantastic, wonderful, smart, brilliant, beautiful you are. And you're making these steps and then you hit that midpoint and that's when you can start making strides. Well, as you make your strides, then you can even make bigger ones. And then soon you are back up to where you're at. And then all you need to do is implement more steps. And you can go higher and higher and higher. And that's not saying that you won't come back down. That's life. We'll have things that do knock us down. 
But that's also the test saying, okay, do you really want to be up there? If you do, you already know what you need to do. Now just start taking the steps. So I hope this was helpful for whoever this was meant for today. I am grateful for you taking this time to watch this video. Now, there is somebody out there who needs this. Please share this. I, like I said, I never know why I do the videos that I do. I just go by the inspiration that I receive. And this is what I felt like I should talk about today. And these steps I've talked about in many of my other videos. Doing your affirmations, coping declarations, then empowerment declarations. And then you have the empowering building exercises. You have all kinds of different things that I've talked about. But this is the point that you may be at right now is one of these pits of despair. And it seems like you're just always going down. Just start small. I've just got to start here. And once I get to step one, I can take step two. And what's even more wonderful is what you don't realize looking in this illustration, what you don't realize is in between this step and this step, there are a bunch of other little steps that can take if you need to. Because sometimes even taking that bigger step and lifting that leg up on that other step is hard. So sometimes we just lift our ankle just to put our toe into a little rung that we didn't realize was right in between that next step. You are amazing. Believe it. Please share this video. Have a wonderful day.